Hello, Cancers. Happy first quarter moon. Happy first quarter moon. That's right. We are officially in the first quarter moon phase. Yes, right? Let's get right into it. So, waxing crescent moon phase. So, you started to set your intentions about moving forward and emotionally somebody said okay i set some intentions for this particular cycle right and so i need to put some action behind it right so that's what i'm seeing for you all so far so let's get right into it let's you can put some action behind whatever you set in you said put some some physical and mental action behind whatever you set whatever you want to um give life to whatever you want to water i have to use that term because you're a water sign if you haven't had a chance to watch the sacral chakra video um uh, please go watch it for you all you know and so just to kind of add you get a little bit of information about sacral chakra gemstones and crystals that you can use for sacral chakra as well as um a reading so let's get into it let's get into it this is a general reading take only what resonates with you if you're new to my channel cancer welcome if you're coming back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back all right, Cancers, let's go. The energy has already been cleared. Oh, my goodness. Okay, somebody's gossiping about you. <laughs> How are you going to be hating outside outside of your vault door, right? Here we have the five of uh, five of pentacles. It could be an earth sign. Um, earth signs would be Virgo, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, right? Here we also have the chariot card. It could have been somebody that you thought about marrying or someone that you are marrying in business and or in love. So some people are talking negatively about you, um, uh, cancer. Here we also have the two of cups. The source is saying I'm sending you soulmate energy to help you to stay focused, right? So, you know, whatever they're saying, you know, it, it really is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. So you got to know exactly what your demons are. So to some degree, I feel like <clears throat> when I look at your cards here, cancer, what they're talking about is maybe a former you, right? So everybody's evolving. What they're ta what the trash talking is about is they want you to be a part of their organization, but you don't want a, a seat at their table because Source has created a table for you. If that makes any sense, I'm not sure who that's for, but that's what it is. Like, And so Source is saying to you, you're not interested in being married to them in business or in love because of that gossiping you don't want to be a part of just the trash talking the 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 you know because that's counterproductive now in the past you may have been a person that says you know what i'll overlook all of that i just want to be a part of an organization i want to be a part of a group i want to you know align myself with this company's name or i want to be connected to in marriage in business or love or whatever to this particular whatever so you got to know what your demons are so somebody's demons were you weren't delivered from people's opinions of you right and you wanted to be associated with stuff right but see here's what i'm saying for you all cancer once this <clears throat> mm, this is good source had to put you in spaces if this makes any sense to anybody source had to put you in spaces that you marveled from afar to see the nastiness within organizations right so let's say you've always said you know what when i grow up i want to i want to um i want to um be a part of you know uh you know <sighs> law enforcement or i want to be a part of this uh fire community or i want to be a part of a government community i want to be in this this organization, I want to be a part of that church. It seems like they're having so much fun because there's so much talking and stuff going on, right? But so Source had to show you the ugliest side of something to let you know how it feels, how they make other people feel who want to be a part of something. It's always this mean girl, mean guy kind of energy, if that makes sense to somebody. So Source is definitely sending a fresh water across your path, like in terms of soulmate energy, somebody who knows ex exactly what your soul needs to let you know you don't need to be a part of something where people are talking negative trash about people. You have a guardian angel that's watching over you, somebody who's helping you to learn how to balance things out, learning how to adapt. You're actually lucky. Somebody doesn't see it right now. But you're actually lucky to be able to see things from like at a higher frequency, right? Um, of how, um, you know, people talk about people. 
Here we also have the four of pentacles. So four and five of pentacles is nine. Nine of pentacles is financial independence, right? So source is saying when you leave them, when you cut them off, right? Cut off the, you, once you recognize your demons of wanting to be a part of something, um, man, you know, I, there's so much information coming to me, cancer. Some, some energy should have never let you go back into your crab shell. I'm serious and process your emotions because just like I mentioned to you all in the, um, in your, in your sacral chakra video, uh, cancers, when I talked about how, like, for instance, when we talk about root, root chakra, that's that base, right? It's developed between the ages of zero and, and seven, right? So whereas the root chakra, which would be like the, the pentacles energy connected to the pentacles energy, um, is about stability, stillness, planning. The sacral chakra is about flow and spontaneity. The sacral chakra is about learning to be in relationship with another. So somebody decided, I don't want to be in relationship with these types of energies anymore. All y'all do is sit around and talk trash about people. Like I wanted to be a part of this, but I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Because as you branch out and you start to realize it doesn't make you feel good. Like somebody says, you know what? You may even started drinking, you know, as a part of like, I don't want to be a part of that. Like I, I, you know, and wasn't like not water. See these two cups of water right here. Somebody's like, I'm ready to be around some clean water energy. I see that people evolve. They don't want to see that people have evolved. I don't want to be around that. That's the, that's the frequency that you're on cancer. So kudos to you for real, because mm, there it is their judgment. The harsh judgment of people. They don't want to get, if things are not done a certain way, like they've been raised to do it, uh, or like they have this like robotic way of doing it. Well, that's not how my family did it. Or that's not useful. Like they got to go strictly by the books. Remember water is that's, that's fluid. That's you're learning how to be in healthy relationships with people. It's really, this is a game changer for somebody in this year of wealth because you gained a wealth of knowledge about self and being wanting to be connected to things that actually irritate your demons. Wanting to be, you know, things that irritate your demons. And remember, when you pour out so much information to that, it could literally be like somebody's in a drunken state to be around toxic energies. You're absorbing all their toxins, cancer. And somebody says, I don't want to be around that type of energy at all. So somebody right now is talking trash about you. They're judging you, you know, looking at maybe your credentials, looking at physically what you have, trying to compare you to other people, cancer. But guess what? You don't care. <laughs> you don't care at all, cancer. You're like, what? Oh, no, nah, I don't want to be connected to you. There's no seat at my table for that, that type of energy, the trash talking judgment, you know, kind of stuff. So here we have the um, so here we have, like I said, they hating outside of your vault because here you are financially independent. Things are working for you and it's going to start growing. Here we have the two of wands. Here's the number two again. Two is about peace. Right. And so. Those types of energies disrupt your peace and you only want to be around energies that add to your peace. Now, see, you see it because you're operating in your light, your sunlight. Somebody's operating in their purpose, right? So remember, this is yours. A chariot card is yours. So remember that you're ruled by the moon. The moon is, um, is uh, illuminated by the sun. So once you got into your light, like your purpose, the reason for why you're here and how your specific gifts and talents can help better mankind. You left them right outside your vault door and they are mad because who do they think? I got this education over cancer. I look better than cancer. They still on the physical. They still dealing with the physical. I got more money than cancer. You know, I got such and such over cancer because they've been under such a judge. They, what they don't, what they don't understand is that all they need to do is cut certain, these same judgment energies off and they'll have the same level of freedom that you have. These are people who are mad about their financial situation. Just so we're crystal clear, they mad about their financial situation and they judging you, cancer, you so far removed from that emotion. If it's not adding to your joy, if it's not adding to your creativity, your wide emotional range, your sexuality, your your um your fertility or your pleasure, some of the people standing out there talking about your sexual preference. They some of them talking about, you know, who you were married to or who you are married to. They talking about all kinds of stuff, but they hating on the outside of your vault door. Right? Here we have the seven of swords. Sources is telling you, look, you made the best decision for you to move on from those types of energies. Here we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. 
And so they think that you're running away from stuff because you can't cut it. That's not the case at all, Cancer. You move, you have made a clear decision in your light, your sunlight to stay you're action oriented. You are um you are ambitious. And so sources saying you're not looking for the approval and that's what's really upsetting some people. It, it it's a, like I said it's an earth sign. It is or people who kind of be kind of be on the cusp of earth energy. You don't know what I'm talking about like so um <clears throat> let me see. Um It could be, uh, it could be a Scorpio. It could be a, um, it could be, it could be an Earth sign. That would be, uh, cause it's a group of them. It's, it, it's, a uh, it's, uh, Earth is, um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, right? Um, and it was definitely somebody you used to marry, be married to, or you thought about marrying at some point. It could even been recently when you thought about marrying somebody and they t sitting around talking trash about people. You're like, I don't want to be a part of that. You're not looking for their approval. Um, it could also be, since I'm looking at your major arcana, it could have been, um, you know, uh, like I said, somebody that when you're around that type of energy, it physically makes you sick. You, you're on this emotional roller coaster. Like how they do things is different than how you do things. Like it's, so it's one thing, like you sit, when you're listening to people talk trash about other people, <clears throat> at first for you, you may be like, oh, I didn't know this. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know this and I didn't know that. But then as eventually it swings around to you. So you already know what they are about. They talk trash about, they sit around and talk trash about people. And so now that you've decided, hey, I'm breaking cycles, chains, and curses, all you need to do is close out that broken link. All you need to do is like, okay, I need to close out this broken link. I don't want to be associated with this. Yep. So here we have the four of pentacles and also the king of wands. Yeah. They watching, they watching every little thing that you do. If you're on social media, they watching, they watching like hawks. They want to see if things are going to go well for you. So all I can say to you for, um, here we have the four of pentacles. One thing, first thing is don't give it a whole lot of attention, right? Don't give it a lot of energy because it's just a, it's just a, a part of life, right? For real. It's like some people feel like if you don't want to be, they feel rejected by you. Like how, who does cancer think they are? Okay, you're cancer. Whatever your name is, you're can you're you. You right? And so you're delivered from that. You, you know, emotionally it can't even touch you. Um, but the the other thing too is when you're on social media, be very careful about what you're posting, Cancer. I really don't have to tell somebody this, but only because I'm looking at the King of Wands. You have a lot of great ideas, and a lot of people are judging how you got inside your vault door. Um, and it doesn't really matter because they're not your God. If you can just keep that at the forefront of your mind and not let it emotionally, um, you know, disrupt anything. Here we have seven of swords um, again. Here we also have the three of wands. Here we have the um, the eight of swords. Here we also have the knight of swords. Here we have the five of wands, the three of swords. They talk about people need to be in jail. You know, they. I mean, they just talk about all kinds of stuff. Um, here we have the seven of swords here. Source has been trying to tell you to move on from these people. I'm not, I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but seven of swords is, um, two types of energies. All they do is just sit around and talk trash about people there. You know, there's always fighting going on and within the situation is always some kind of friction going on. And source is saying, if you're a person, if they feel like you will stay connected to something just because you want to be a part of something, you may be talking to yourself and say, well, I want to be a part of it because I mean, this is what I've always prayed for. I guess I have to, I guess this is, this is what comes along with it. Uh, no, there are people out here that genuinely want to invite you into non-stressful situations because they've, they've disconnected from, um, uh, spaces and they've created their own table. They're like, no, nah, I don't want to be around trash talk. That's what's leading your car. Your cars, this trash talking, right? Here we have the eight of swords and the three of swords. You know, their creativity, they sit around and drying up creativity. They heartbroken, they deep, they just miserable. They are absolutely just miserable. So, and see this person right here, knight of swords, came out twice. Source is saying, get away from those types of energy. It's two types of energy source wants you to get away from. Just cut them off. I'm hearing the word denounce and renounce. Like get away from those types of energies because as the mother of the Zodiac, it would look like a bad mother. I'm talking to, you know, um, men and women cancers. It would look like, oh, this is the kind of nurturing they provide. All they do is sit around. I already dealt with that in my own family. I don't want to be a part of that, right? 
So three and five of wands, right? So source is saying this three and five of wands is like quick progression. Get as far away from them because source is speeding up things for you. Just get it for like in terms of you being booked and busy and not burdened at all. So that's what it is. You sitting on your throne. They watching everything. They trying to see if a background is different. Cancer. They don't know if like, for instance, like if I, if I have this background in one setting and I have a different background in another setting, I could be in a different room, but those types of energies would be like, Oh, I wonder where they are. I wonder what's going on. They like hang on to every little thing, you know, just like stalking energy cancer. So source is saying to you, because they've allowed other people to burn them out. Here we have two and three. So like I said, two and two and three of uh, wands is five. And then five of wands is, uh, when I tell you that source is about to make you booked and busy, that's an understatement. It's two types of energy source is saying get away from. It's the trash talkers and the people that sit around and entertain trash. And so sources let you know ahead of time, you know, through the air that they're talking, talk, they're talking trash about you. Or if they're not talking trash about you, they're listening to people talk trash about you. Oh, yeah, they can't cut it. They they run, they first sign of some kind of trouble or problem. They run away from X, Y, and Z. That's not going to last long. If it's not, if whatever it is, you could be doing something on social media. That's not, if it doesn't last long, it's probably because you came into, like I said, financial independence. And you don't have to do certain things as much as you used to do them. So you don't need to give it a whole lot of thought. And that's what I'm saying. Soulmate energy coming across your path. There it is. I'm telling you, I'm not surprised. Source is going to make somebody very wealthy. So they really won't have access to you. So here we have the lover's card. And so some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. That's going to make somebody very, very wealthy. But the, the sacrifice is, and remember time is relative, is that source is bringing very wealthy energies that's watching you. When all of these people that's watching you is very wealthy energy that's watching you too, Cancer. Um, and they want to align themselves with you in business and or in love. But if you still connected to trash talking energies, this is not where like, okay, well, if they come across my path first and I got to see how this works out, because if you still connected to them, guess what? Because you still, if you still connected to those demons of wanting to be a part of something, then you're going to go right back and tell them. Oh, I just met this investor because they know that you're looking for some kind of an approval. So source is saying you're going to have to completely cut them off cancer so that you can come in contact with a partnership in business and or in love because you're operating in purpose and, and watch how they see that. They go, oh, my God. So I, I'm, I'm like I said before. <clears throat> you don't want to be connected to that type of energy. So King of Pentacles. So I definitely see you closing out some cycles in love. Again, they're going to swear up and down to everybody. Oh, yeah, I know them. It's people, I mean, people from your past and even recent. Oh, they run at the first sign of trouble. And, and you see how they talk about, oh, they people need to be in jail, you know, and, you know, they talk negatively about people. Oh, they're a psychopath. They're a sociopath. All their talk, everything about their energy is negative. And it, it's just being in that stuffy air. That's what I'm looking at your cards here. Being in that stuffy air, um, Cancer, as the mother of the Zodiac, and again, I'm talking to men and women Cancers, it just doesn't suit you because you said, if I'm the mother of the Zodiac, um, would I want that kind of a mother that talks about me and talks about my siblings to me, you know, talking trash, but then want act, then a turn around and come around and ask, you know, ask you for something. Do I want to be connected to, because this right here starts in the family. Do I want to be connected to, you know, that kind of stuff where I'm actually bring, I'm that stuffy air. So I feel like some, I feel like somebody's going to take a long walk or maybe take a drive and get some fresh air and just get for, and just make a, a clear decision to finally close out something like my time in such and such place has just been fulfilled, whether it's a, whether it's a city, state, town, province, Whatever it is, somebody is getting away from it, and that's where your breakthrough. The breakthrough is already happening because in your mind, you're already thinking, what is the motive? Like, what, what's stopping me? Like, what's stopping me from, what, what's stopping me from, from moving forward, getting away from certain types of energy? You're already on your throne of your thinking. You're on your throne of already, met, um, um, you know, like uh, managing your time down to the, the you know, you're already operating in your light, right? So I see somebody moving towards business partnerships in love and or business. Hey, we have the lover's card and, and the moon is moving into Gemini. So I'm going to give you the questions for the moon and Gemini. But I, I see you all moving towards spaces where um, people have been judged themselves. They already know how it works. They've been judged themselves. 
you have a guardian angel that's watching over you, helping you to move on, like, you know, move through, you know, space and time, get away from these energies that's always in fight mode. They can never come to a clear decision. When I look at this right here, um, you got every element here. You got all the zodiac signs here. These types of energies, these types of energies are always in fight mode, right? You're dealing with some energies that are bullies, people who are easily enraged, people who are who have low self-esteem, people who have collapsed chest posture. Watch how some of them walk around. They walk around with collapsed chest posture and not because of some kind of a like a, a like a bone um, you know, disease or anything like that. They just they just uh, everything about their energy, they just shady, they messy. They um they have they cause people um, chronic fatigue. So with some people, they seem timid. They seem meek as a lamb with other people. They, you know, knock if you buck. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> you know, it's just like I said, it's just a whole bunch going on. And so sources of saying the air is just, just a nasty air. And it's always some kind of an argument. It's always, they always talking about people. It's just, mm. so like I said before, um, the air is just stuffy and you have high priestess energy, right? So sources of saying to you, you know, one night somebody's going to go to sleep. They're going to have a dream, you know, and your guardian angel is going to meet you in your dream and just say to you, you know, get away from these judgmental energies because the longer you stay connected to it, remember our bodies are made up of a large percent of what percentage of water cancer. And if you could, it's like, it's like you give off, you would give off that same judgmental energy, that same judgmental energy, turning your nose up at people, you know, can't have clear conversations. You feel like you need to be a part of something and, so I should say, <clears throat> I'm trying to put you in some very wealthy partnerships and that'll give, they'll, they'll have something else to talk about that. Oh, they a gold digger. They the ones that's gold diggers. They always have a goal. They only want to be associated. They try to prey on people's weaknesses of wanting to be a part of something because these are the type of kids that's probably like bullied in school. Nobody ever let them sit with them. So they get a little bit of something and all of a sudden, okay, I got to, these are my rules. You know, I, I mean, just mm, here we have Oak 27. Don't just look within, dive deeply into the eternal realms of knowing. So I definitely feel like the number nine is a death rebirth. And here we have five and four is nine, right? The reason why source doesn't want you because nine is a death rebirth number. Your clairvoyance and your psychic abilities have actually increased. But for them, when you look at the number nine, it's in the shape of a, a person with a big head, right? Look at the number nine in numerology. It's in a, place, a person who replaced the dark side of the number eight, nine is people who are big headed, egotistical. That's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with egos, Right. But so source knows exactly what your spirit needs. So whether you meet somebody who is very wealthy, who is teaching you how to not, you know, give any part of your 24 hours to trash talking or people who entertain trash talking about you or their bank account wealthy, because this is also bank account wealthy as well. Right. People who are working, who not letting grass grow up under their feet now, people who are not entertaining foolishness. So, yeah, so when you're around those types of energies, um, here's the thing, too. You know, the book, um, The Spook Who Said By The Door is coming across my mind, too. These types of energies, when you move on from them and you start teaching other people their ways outside of that, it also, it's, it's not like you're talking negatively about people, but letting people know this is how people are recruited. People are recruited based on, they prey on people's demons, and your demon could be, I want to be a part of something. I don't care. I'll sacrifice myself just to be a part of something. They just prey on people's demons. So I feel like that's how Source is going to start using some people. I feel like Source is saying, you know, do you really want to be a part of something? You know, because this is, this is, this is what's going to happen. This is how people prey on people. So essentially, in the long run, they ruin themselves. Their energy is ruining them. So they, they're ruining them. They're ruining themselves. The air is just dark, you know, around them. It's just like a, it's like a cloud of smoke, you know, like smog around them. It's just, ugh. here we have Madre Tierra. So it's two types of energies. I definitely see you moving on from two types of energies is not always two people or two. Uh, well, it's, it's types of energies. We're in, in relation with other human beings, but I feel like it could be like somebody has said, you gone around and around and around you know, with this in your mind. And so it could be two people, two places, two things. It could be a person in a place. It can be people in a place. It can be, you know what I'm saying? Like it's two types of energies, 
where you don't you don't want to be connected to that. You're just at a different place in your life. Because you're saying, if I'm the mother of the Zodiac, how would I, what kind of mother would I have wanted? Especially if you had a great relationship with your mom and you feel like, okay, that's the type of mom I want to be. Or if you had a bad relationship with your mom, that's not the type of mother I want to be. I don't want to be the type of person who, and I'm talking to men and women cancers, I don't want to be the type of person who, where people don't feel nurtured when they come, you know, around me. Here we also have the 10 of swords. So it's just saying the longer you connect with those energies, you are now the Judas in your own circle. You can't even call, you can't even, you at, at this stage in your life, because you're an adult, I'm assuming you're an adult if you're watching this, if you stay connected to them, you're a Judas in your own. You're betraying yourself. You can't even say that they're betrayers because you're still connected to them and haven't even pulled out the sword of truth when source keeps telling you to move on. Source keeps telling somebody to move on. Here we have the Dame of Swords here. We also have the Four of Wands. So I definitely feel like, um, you know, somebody has a new and exuberant love coming across your path. If, if that's what you want or something where I see you celebrating, but it's two for two, two types of situations. I see somebody moving on from and two types of blessings coming in. So congratulations. Here we have the queen of wands. I definitely see your attitude is going to determine your altitude. Your, um, and so how quickly you come in contact with some good news cancer. That's what I'm seeing for you, right? The universe is definitely in your favor with everything. And here we have justice. So, you know, some energies have caused so much injustice in people's lives that, um, their karma is hitting them already because, and their karma is they're in so many karmic ties because they won't leave situations and they want to somehow want to be connected to you. I feel like there's an energy in particular that they may come across a little bit like naive and innocent and oh I just want to be a part they come across cancer so we're clear as an energy that always wants to look for people's approval and that's how people are able to get them that's how they stay connected to unhealthy family relationships whether it's family like organization like friendships and family that's how they stay connected to that because they're always looking for people's approval so them sitting around letting all this trash talk in their ear with our bodies are made up all i mean a high percentage of water it's just like it, you know if you've ever gone to um a beach and there's just like plastic bottles and trash all in the water you don't want to get in that you're like i don't want to i don't want to swim in that i don't want to be that's just gross like i'm looking at the ocean and i feel like the ocean of emotion i don't want to be connected to that or think about like uh you go to a swimming pool imagine if you went to a swimming pool as a water sign you're going there to relax and to just the sound waves and everything and being around that you know and look what if it's just trash in a swimming pool you don't want to swim in that you're like okay well who is the person that's supposed to drain the pool and clean the pool out they have options and so source is making you very wealthy and again i say like i see business and um, um marriage and business and or in love so i see some kind of twin connection but I definitely feel like somebody would have been in a karmic situation had they stayed in a situation where you are, the air is just, just like, I just, you know, really just dirty air. You know, here we have the um, seven of wands. So I definitely see you being able to defend your decision to move on without even coming across as defensive. Like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't the kind of mother I want to be. If I, if, if source is entrusting me with people's, you know, with people's, um, you know, with talking to people, I don't want to come across as, um, judgmental. I don't want to come across as, um, you know, not seeing things from a higher frequency, right? Someone is incredibly smart, but source needs you to get out of your head and put some action behind these intentions that you set. That's why we're in this waxing crescent moon phase. So 24, I am fertile in what I seed for there's a reason to drink and dance upon the riches I receive. That's it. I'm telling you, source is making somebody very wealthy and it won't have anything, no ties to them at all. So you're cutting ties, 24, 6, 2 and 4, 6. You're cutting ties. The, the, um, the 2 and 7 is 9. 9 is a death rebirth number. So somebody said, I'm cutting ties. I'm burying these relationships. I don't even want to. And that's why you got so much thinking here. Thinking is connected to sword energy. Your head and heart may have been at war with each other when it came to certain energies that you've allowed to get that close to you. But you're done. Somebody said, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting those energies off. I don't even want to be attached to these energies at all. Don't want to be attached to them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So congratulations to you, you know, really, um, Cancer, because something has been a long, long time coming, really. Like, really, just long time coming. 
it's it's been a long and arduous journey his four and five of wands you know for somebody we have three and seven right here i say you moving towards booked and busy not burdened at all um here we have three seven is ten obviously booked and busy a source is saying i'm giving you the green light you know you have a lot of opportunities that lie ahead to work with energy and on top of that you've gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom. we're talking about speaking of knowledge and wisdom you've gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom so when you are helping people when you're helping people in your purpose and you're helping people to find out what motivates and inspires them I feel like somebody is, I feel like someone is getting their heart chakra in alignment. So when we talk about heart chakra, you're dealing with love and connection to love and be loved, right? So when you're around people who desperately, and it's a desperate need for love, a lot of people will accept just anything, right? But I feel like, um, you, when we talk about the heart chakra, we talk about love, trust, gratitude, forgiveness, compassion, kindness, healing, you know, looking for commonalities, you know, looking for connections with the human race. I definitely see somebody more in their humanitarian and, and not wanting to be connected to those types of energies at all. And the lessons that you're teaching people, you don't, you don't have to throw these types of energies under the bus. Let's say you're connected to organizations where all they do is sit around and talk about people and they try to put negative energy out in the world. Oh, that person needs to be in jail. They this and that talking trash about people and that kind of stuff and don't know a whole full story about stuff. I see you saying, mm, yeah, my head and heart are no longer at war with each other. Here we have affirmations for patience. I am here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I like nothing. Time is relative. Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time and all is working for my highest good. So as you're thinking, because I see a lot of air cars out here, long as lot, and this is your universe. As you're thinking about how you're going to move forward, um, Cancer, about these energies right here and making a decision to close out cycles with two types of situations, you're getting away from just the, like I said before, just the toxicity of it all. That's what I see for you. I see you getting away from the, the toxicity. So yeah, that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You absolutely deserve to be in different types of spaces. They'll find out, they'll find out, they'll find out one way or the other, just how wealthy you are. I really feel like, and again, take only what resonates with you. I feel like somebody, one day you're going to be online. The next day it's going to kind of sort of, you know, dwindle down. Like, not as much. Something is going to be a major shift in your life because it's something you prayed for. But um, I definitely see either somebody moving to a place where the, the cost of living is much cheaper. So that there's more money. Like not only is source increasing your money, but the cost of living is cheaper. If you're moving somewhere geographically, just a cheaper place. Um, I feel like, you know, your twin flame, even if they come into your life and they're not adding bills. Like a lot of times people have a new love coming in their life and they bring in their set of bills. So it almost feel like, okay, I got to carry their burden. If they don't know how to manage their money, right? It's going to be a totally different situation. I see even like in a business situation for somebody, again, something is adding to your wealth, right? Cause you already have a wealth of knowledge. Here we have energetic clearing. That's what I'm talking about. During crisis, the Holy one herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments preparing you to receive her luminous plan yep preparing you to receive her luminous plan yep so one last card well i mean two more cards and we're going to go ahead and close this out but yeah somebody is definitely so when we talk about heart chakra we're talking about pink and green stones pink and green stones is what we're talking about so any pink and green stone i am strong that's right i am strong because you are strong you are definitely strong some people will do anything to be a part of something, and even if it's even if it's causing you physical ailments, you're like, mm mm, that you you don't need to go through the fire with energies where it's always just fighting and talking about people and mm, no, nah. definitely see you moving on from that. So <clears throat> let's get um, what the fuck did a number card? Let's get your number and then one last card and close it out. So hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Hopefully it makes sense. You know, to you. Hopefully, it makes sense to you. 
Number 12, I'm a visionary. That's right. So you're going to have to see it. You're going to have to see it in the, like in through your, you already, somebody's already praying about something. You're going to also have to see it in your meditative state. You're not running from anything because that's what people are claiming. Oh, you run from stuff when things get hard. Somebody says something to you. You were offended by something that they said and such and such. And when really their ego was offended that you don't want to be a part of something. And, and what actually happened is that you've decided to get focused. You've decided to stay focused. So you don't really care what people are saying. Number 12, I'm a visionary. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. Yep, so number 12. And then one last card. Oop. Get locked in and laser focused. Yep, get locked in. That was at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, get locked in and laser focused. And that's what this is. Getting locked in and laser focused. Getting locked in and laser focused. Locked in and laser focused. Locked in and laser focused. Somebody never stopped loving you. And, and so to soothe their, and when I say love, it can be a romantic love or like, you know, it could have been somebody you were thinking about marrying or somebody you used to be married to, or it could be family love. Like, you know, they love you, but they feel somehow judged or rejected by you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. My point to you is that their love is different from yours. Your love is thinking in terms of commonality. Your love is... I'm trying to see the connection with us, you know, the, the common. And I, and, and that's why it's been such a hard decision for somebody to move on from something because you, you've been trying to find the connection. You've been saying, okay, I'm st trying to stay connected to certain energies. I'm trying to find the common bond here. But the, the, but the thing is, is that they are, they are, they, they feel like they need to find some kind of friction. That's their definition of love. They got to stay connected to a bunch of chaos and confusion. Why? Because somebody found out what their demons were. And once you found out what your demons were and you learn how to put your demons under submission, that freed you immediately. And how did you find them? By being in your purpose. That's how you found your demons. So somebody never stopped loving you. Um, for somebody in particular, somebody's ex, or it may not even have gone that far, Cancer, um, somebody feel like, you know, they, they want to be connected to you, but they feel like you're harshly judging them. You don't even have to give any energy that, to that at all. You're not judging them. You're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. You, to even sit there, let that sit in your water cancer and, 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 and let people, you know, but they are around a bunch of judgmental trash talking energies. They sitting there listening to that, tr that, that trash. That's what they're listening to. They're ingesting that trash and saying that you're judging them. Listen, that's so far outside of your universe. So I definitely see somebody saying, I'm getting away from that. I'm getting away from it. And not because you're running from anything. It is clearly because you just eight and three is 11. Somebody got off the fence and stopped overthinking and stepped and stepped back into your remember that you have purpose. That's why. So yeah, your life is about to change. You already, you saw some things, you saw some things in advance that if you stay connected to trash talking people, they would sit there like one of them ventriloquist doll, like the, the wooden ventriloquist doll with the eyes going left to right. Like, oh, I mean, I'm just trying to assess both sides. What? Anyway, that's what I'm saying for you all, Cancers. I will see you all. Um, I will definitely see you all in the, in the next reading, okay? Happy Freedom Friday. Happy first quarter moon phase. First quarter moon phase is about you taking action, not just sitting there overthinking. Taking some kind of action to close out some cycles. At least being some kind of forward motion, even if it's a little bit at a time forward motion but i definitely see you have a guardian angel that's watching over the entire situation and helping you to in time decide hey i need to move beyond some things that's what i have for you and i'll see you in the next reading bye